Realizing my hat might be a problem. Maybe I should take the hat off. Whatever. How's everyone doing? Oh! Commander Stripper thanks for this stuff. Guys, I have a kitty in my lap already. Who are you? It joy. She cleaning. We desperately need to trim her claws because they are sharp. How's everyone doing? Thank you for the compliments on my Animal Crossing. It is the outfit I am wearing today. It was so down to detail that my in-game character's socks were red and my socks are red right now, which I would show you, but I have a cat in my lap. Or maybe I can... There you go. There's a foot. Yeah, little Joy is here. I sat down to get this ready and then I would get up and go make some coffee or get my phone. Um, and before I could do anything, she uh, ran screaming onto my lap. So it happens when you have cats, I suppose. You're welcome, Leprechaun Koala. I'm glad that we could help make you affiliate. It helps a lot when you have affiliate. It gives you so much of a, of, a, of a boost. Hi, you have eye gunk. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know, this is why you don't sit on my lap anymore. It's because I clean you. Joy gets a lot of eye gunk. And I pull it out all the time. She gets like her little her little tear ducts get all gunky. Sademon? Cademon? The Raider? Sorry, bad at reading names. The Plague Doctor, thank you both for subbing. Um, we're back in interrogation. For those who um Oh, I don't have my little alert box up, so hmm. I should fix this before we do anything else. Hi, Joy. Yeah, my little sweetie. Anonymous cheer just cheered 420 bits. Yes. Thank you. What time does the stream start? It officially starts at 2.30. I started a little bit early because I just wanted to have some chat time. To say hi. To say hi, and Hello. Hello. Um, I had to ask how everyone was doing. Also, Astro Map subscribed. And. Al Gnaw. And N. Martin Easy. Just a lot of subs. Thank you so much. Joy gets used to us cleaning her eye gunk because I do it constantly. She's also really good about just. Um forgiving us immediately to recently while she's been asleep I've been like grabbing her paw and just squeezing one nail out and clipping it and she doesn't like it so she'll put her little teeth on me but she won't bite down and then when I stop and I move it over like I move the little clippers over she uh just goes back to sleep and so one time Jacob and I rolled her into a burrito so we could get all of them she was extremely unhappy, you know, scratching, putting her teeth on us, trying to get out, going, mm -hmm. and um, Who are you? she immediately uh, forgave us. When we let her out of her little burrito, she just stood there like, cool, what's next? Rinsable Shaw, thank you for the sub. Plague Doctor subscribed, thank you. It is a little bit on the nose right now, but hey, that's what doctors are right now, a little bit. Um, thank you for the compliments on the Planet Zoo stream. Joy, where are you going? Oh, goodbye. Now you leave? My phone's all the way over there. Anyway, stream usually starts at three. But today, I wanted to do it at 2.30 because I have to do a lot of reading about 
bank things. <laughs> bank things and lawyer things. And uh, I have to do that later. I have to fill out a lot of government forms in a bit. So I thought I would film this out. Uh, I thought I would film this or stream this, as they say, earlier in the day. Slam dunking Benedetto gifted four tier one subs. Thank you so much. And also, all of Volcado is continuing to give sub they got. And Caradactyl Stowe subscribed. Thank you all so much. Um, yeah, we're streaming. We try to stream midday on our non Wednesdays and non Sundays. Uh, for all the Europeans out there. And all the people in other time zones that maybe can't catch our late night streams. Anyway, let's get into it. Today we're playing Interrogation again. Jolly Bee Chicken Boy. Isn't that all? Isn't that us all? We're all a little bit of a Jolly Bee Chicken Boy. Because it's delicious. Unless I guess you're a vegetarian. Um, we already started this game. So this would be a part two. Uh, trigger warning for people who, you know, were not around last time. Um, or content warning. I forgot which one's the more appropriate one to use. And I apologize for that. But there's some, you know, references to violence. You know, we're a detective. We're investigating crime. Stuff like that. Um, so that's gonna happen. There's also, like, this weird police brutality mechanic that we're just not going to use at all. I'm never, I'm, I'm never use it. I even specifically chose the pacifist route so that we uh, maybe could avoid it. <coughs> what if belong said Julia just wanted to let you know that I made a Twitter just to follow SSS on it, but I figured out I like Twitter a bit. That's what happens. You like it a bit and you hate it a lot. That's what happens. Just don't go on it all the time. I go on it. Sometimes, just like mindlessly, like if I'm walking around, I'll just like open it and then I get mad. I get mad at people's bad takes. Um, what else? Um, someone tweeted at me that my Planet Zoo stream stressed them out and they did not like it. It's the DMs that I get. I'm still gonna stream Planet Zoo because it was hella fun. I'm sorry, that one person. You could just not watch it. Um, Jacob's feeling a little bit better today. He's taking a shower right now. Um, he'll be around later, I'm sure. Who are you? Oh my goodness. Renita? I still don't know how to pronounce your name and I'm sorry. Maybe sound off in the chat so I can get it right. Uh, Renita? Renita? Gave out 10 tier 1 subs. Thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. Who are you? So let's get into the game. Yeah, the Planet Zoo stream I had. Who are you? Um, I did love the two crows just standing on top of the other crow's you? head. Just looking like nothing was wrong. Um, Planet Zoo stream, I was tearing up in that stream the stupid bush tower i made Who are you? i loved it it was so dumb just like then changing the camera angle and seeing that it's just like this huge thing and then my stupid after all that work my stupid loomer screen was upside down claire dactyl thank you for the sub the trash appears <laughs> They're just surrounded by corporate boxes. Anyway, let's get into it. So last time, short recap. Last time, where the hell's my water bottle? Last time, um, we were investigating the murder, the moida of a woman, and we found out that. You know, the, it was tried to be pinned on the burglar, but it turned out it was the husband. And the husband, turned out, did it, well, because one, he's a dirtbag. But two, he is part of a sort of like MRA group 
that loves guns? Will I ever be streaming 1001 Spikes again? I was actually debating doing that yesterday instead. I enjoyed it so much. We must say we might do it again. Tuesday, so we don't stream on Tuesdays typically because uh, we do Drawfee recordings. We do Drawfee beans. But, um, and then Wednesday night we have the Jacob stream. And so maybe like Thursday or Friday we'll do 1001 Spikes. Something's happening this week and I kind of forgot what it was. Anyway, so uh, do's part of, hello Olive. Don't do this. Don't do this. Oh, she's doing it. Make way for Olive. This is my life. When Jacob's in the shower, both of them just nonstop bother me for love. They're both so cuddly. Um... This is gonna be weird to summarize while I have this adorable cat in my lap that just wants some love. But, also I have to say, Olive, come in such a long way. I just wanna show off how good Olive's been doing. She used to be scared of everything, every noise she'd go running. With people, she was a little stressed. She used to have um, this bald spot on her little arm cause she used to pick at it cause she was so stressed out when she first came here, right? Meanwhile, Hi. she still screams at the bathroom door all the time. I think that's why she's sitting with me right now is because Jacob's in the shower and she gets stressed out. Anyway. She, um, she used to not know how to ask for affection, so she would kind of, like, wait for you to pet her, and then she would look at you, like, please pet me more. But then she was scared of it, and she didn't like when people got too close to her. Yeah. And now, like, she couldn't be near you if she was on the floor. She had to be, like, up. That was the only way you could get close to her. But now... She sleeps on my dresser and I shake it around a lot and she just looks at me like, do you want something? She's so good. Now she asks for attention way too much. She gets in my lap constantly. She's been playing with joy all the time. It's awesome. Anyway, back to the game. So that's what we found out last time on the game. And, um, hello. Uh, what else happened? We found out that the gun was purchased illegally, I believe it was. And that he was part of a chat group that was in, like, a pet care website, but is actually a front from the MRA. Anywho, that's where we're at. We are in charge of a team of specialized detectives. I don't know, I forgot about this woman's deal. I forgot everyone's deal, but she is part of my team. I sent her to take care of the chat. And then we had a dude who I put in charge of finding the gun and he did. Street vendor, thank you. And then we have the other person, whom I'm forgetting the name, it's something with a T. Tab? Tab! Tab uh, was in charge of, I just love this little kitty. Uh, Tab was in charge of uh, making sure all the paperwork was in order because that's needed. But that's where we are today, we're investigating. So uh, hey boss, wanted to clear the water about some stuff that I don't know whether you're even aware of or not. Chief Lucas was looking at two of us to see who would head up this task force. Guess you acing the Peterson grill made it a done deal, and I can't say I blame the chief for that call. 
Bullshit rumors fly really easily, so I just wanted to reassure you that I'm fully on board. Right behind you. After all, the best leaders are also the best followers. Um... So now we got three options. Oh yeah, there were bonsai trees. The thief stole a lot of bonsai trees. We couldn't figure out what he was talking about with trees because he kept saying little trees or little plants around the house. So she just tucked her little paws underneath. So cute. Oh, happy gay. Gifted, a tier one sub. Thank you so much. Oh, happy gay. Um... So you have three options. This game is also very like customizable. You can choose different like routes that you want to go in. You can have different personalities. You can have people. There's just cat fur flying everywhere because of the cat. But is the vod of the first stream messed up for anyone else? I hope not. Who are you? Um, there's also like benefits to getting them on your side. If I had any idea, I would have told the chief to give it to you. This responsibility feels like a lot. That feels like we're saying that we disagree with the chief or something. Or that I don't think I'm up to task. Thank you for the reassurance, Reyes. Step up your game. You'll lead your own unit in no time. Glad to hear it, Jen. Let's do good work, whoever's managing this. Yeah, that one. Uh, Carl Ryan, Carl Nate. Thank you for the sub. Uh, and Conradicat. Also, thank you for the sub. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that the previous VOD isn't working. 10-4, boss, 10-4. My door is always open. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Get the hell out of my office. My door is always open. Good to know. Mm -hmm. I'll be at my desk. I feel like she wasn't the most happy about that. Uh, I've been at it for a while now, and I've managed to figure out what most keywords mean. The algorithm managed to confirm some of these deductions. There are some conflicts, though, either because of the cognitive biases or of algorithm errors. It's hard to figure out specifics, but we have some broad findings. The folks in the chat room are just a wing of the whole operation, though. And I think I've stumbled upon something big. The South Bank Mall, sometime today, planting of a package in front of the Dwarf Lawn store. Apparently they'll have someone there. I'm not sure what they'll be supposed to do though. We should have the place canvassed ASAP. Let's move. Yeah, I agree, Tab. We have three suspects in, com in, in company in custody. One of them can potentially be our perp. The only three we noticed to linger near the Duathlon store. That is, before the three of them got tangled up in an incident and we had to intervene. This is the detailed... This is detailed in the file. I forgot that the writing is a little jank. Uh, Osmeandra. Osmeandra. Thank you for the sub. Um, one of them is the one working on the Liberation Front's orders. Has to be. I've checked the chat room again. I now think we're dealing with a planted bomb. Sweet, baby Jesus. We're on the clock, boss. Lives are at stake. We need the explosive devices location. We need the explosive devices location. Yeah. Uh, Olive's still in my lap. So I'm talking to Olive. I apologize. Right? Right? My little girl. She's hitting me with her tail. I don't know what that means. Uh, blip. I keep reading things online about cats, and it's always like, it's like, why is my cat hitting me with her tail? And the answer is always like, your cat is dying. Bye, Olive. Tire soap. Subscribed. Thank you. All right. 
Big Yannick energy. Congratulations on the cold of camp. All right. So uh, it's at the South Bank Mall, blah, blah, blah. The only three people present at the location specified by the secret chat room. Conversation were brought in for immediate questioning. As our officers arrived at the scene, two of the individuals found at the scene were involved in a conflict. Daniel Wilson, a security guard working within the commercial complex, forcibly apprehended Bakil Madonna. Why am I so illiterate? And exposed that the latter individual carried a concealed firearm. Ooh. Okay. The third individual, Samantha Lowe, was seen talking to Daniel Wilson by our agents as they were arriving at the scene just prior to the subsequent conflict between Wilson and Madonna. Madonna. Uh, a Dane's war chief. Thank you for the sub and thank you for the compliment. It's very nice of you. Joy meows just constantly. Every time she jumps, she meows. Every time she lands, she goes. Meow. Anyway. The chat room conversation revealed that at least one of these individuals was due to signal the successful planting of a timed bomb at a nearby location by being present and seen on the walkway. Experts estimate that the location of the bomb must be extracted within minutes if the bomb squad wants to disable the device in time. So some of these rounds are timed, like this one's going to be, but the time only advances when you click like a conversation tree. So we might have to like restart the whole thing like we did last time for those of you who are there. All right, Daniel Wilson. Daniel Wilson is a retired Marine. Everyone's in the mid twenties. <laughs> Type one complexion again. Daniel Wilson is a retired Marine. He takes care of his ailing mother and struggles to keep up with the escalating medical bills. He was operating as a security guard at the location of the incident and is one of three people at the scene who could have planted the bomb. He is the person who apprehended Bakil Medina as he was attempting to leave the premises. Wilson appears to be a close friend of Samantha Lowe, who he was entertaining before entertaining before getting involved in the incident with Medina. Med Madonna? Madonna? Life is a mystery. Everyone must stand alone. Wilson frequently visits Christian conservative websites. He's an active supporter of gun rights and uh, firmly opposes, opposed to political correctness. There might be like a warning there because if he opposes political correctness, then he'll probably say some incorrect things when we interview him. So that's just a warning for you guys and for myself. And I would like to apologize ahead of time for any of that. Samantha Lowe is an interior decorator. Wait, she's type two complexion. All right, again, mid twenties. Everyone in this game is like my height, but like 20 or 30 pounds lighter. Give me complexes. Samantha Lowe is an interior decorator, an animal rights activist. Yay. Engaged to be wet in a month. ISP enforced tracking shows uh, that her IP was has accessed Liberation Front content pertaining to the claim to claims of oppression of man and beast. What? She was engaged in conversation with Daniel Wilson at the time of the incident. And one of the only three people at the scene, she has increased premiums on her bank debts with the bank threatening to cash the mortgage 
on the flat she shares with her fiance. Okay, so this game is written by British people about Americans. Got it. We don't use the word flat. My cousin does. That's because she's French and lives in London, but not anymore because of Brexit. Yeah, I, when I was five foot seven, at my most underweight, which I was severely underweight, I was about 105, and that was in like freshman or sophomore year of college, and that was severely unhealthy for me. I was sick constantly, and I had zero energy. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah, they definitely didn't do research on what women weigh at five foot six. Alright. Uh Bakil Medina. Medana. Madonna. Uh Bakil. Bakil? We should look up what her BMI should be. I, uh, my phone is over there. Joy is in a nice little ball next to me. It's very cute. Anyway, uh, arrived in the country on a student visa seven years ago. He enrolled in to study uh, materials engineering, but has no record of attendance after his third year at university. Past the visa's expiration date, he seems to have remained in the country illegally, likely working on the black market. What? How do we know that? There are very few official records of his activity since. He has been sending regular payments to bank accounts in his home country. Sounds like he's supporting family back at home. He was one of three people at the specified site. The developing situation, despite being summoned to not leave the premises, he attempted to flee. He has stopped. He was stopped and held by Daniel Wilson. Daniel Wilson sounds a bit like a racist. Just a little bit. A little bit like a racist. Because he opposes, firmly opposes political correctness and loves guns and is a Christian conservative. Seems like he's probably a bit of a racist. He was a security guard, right? Daniel? Daniel was a security guard working within the commercial complex. Okay. Let's look at these pictures a little bit. Yep, yep, yep. All right. All right, let's get into it. Olive's back. Bring them in. Okay, see the timer's not going down. And that's because we haven't clicked anything. So, I think that the way that we usually do it is like... Just walked by and left. Anyway. Yeah, we'll lay off the uh, the weight talk just because I know it's a, a bad topic for some people. You just gotta do whatever's best for you, right? As always, do what's best for you. Um, Daniel, do you know why you are here? My file on you is incomplete. I have some questions. Let's talk about the man you apprehended. That feels like a good way to get his confidence in. Or like his... Not his confidence. What am I looking for? What is the... What's the word I'm looking for? God, it's just cat for flying. Trust. 
We want him to trust us so that he spills the beans, because that's how we kept getting people on previous runs. Was that they trusted us and just, like, said whatever. Um... Let's talk about the man you apprehended. Hope you locked up that asshole. What was he doing wrong? I don't want to ask him this because it's going to be something stupid. Let's all be cool in the chat. I see that there's some people being being a little fighty. And it's cool. This is a... a a, a safe place for people. As safe as we can make it. Sometimes we dip into some some tough stuff and I apologize. But let's all be cool in the chat. Um, Let's see. We have some votes for one and two. I feel like we know the answer for number one. It's because he's a jerk. Right? Why do you act on your own and not call the police? My training kicked in. I thought people were in danger. What? Well, I'm not going to agree with him. I'm not going to say number two. Do you do racial profiling a lot as a mall guard? Or is it just what you're used to do as a soldier? It's not like that man. He looks shifty. Ain't about race. All right, why was he shifty looking? To begin with, what do you need to know? Suspicious. Suspicious. Do you hear my cat screaming? All right, so our three options here are yeah, that's Olive screaming at the bathroom door. The bathroom is at the complete other side of the apartment. It's far that way. We have this room, the living room, the kitchen, and then the bathroom. Anyway. So... Uh, don't you ever act on instinct? He's just being shifty, just looking at that. Don't you ever act on instinct? So we got three options. You kidding? I think I re <laughs> kidding? You think I read these papers? I follow my guts all the time. I'm illiterate. I can't read. Instincts are deceitful. I follow rules, laws, and procedures. I do what is necessary on a case-by-case -case basis. Does this mean it's Jacob time? No, she probably heard, I don't know, the shower turn off or something. But why does Olive scream at the bathroom? It's because she doesn't like when one of us is not accessible. Uh, she just scream. She just scream. I feel like I want to go by three because number one, I don't know if we're that good of a liar. Number two feels like we're combating him a little bit. I do feel like we have to be vaguely shitty. We have to get him on our side for the purposes of getting information. So. She actually doesn't usually just like at night, she doesn't scream at her bathroom door. It's just like when one of us is in the shower. She also is obsessed with the shower. All right, let's do, let's go with number three. And I did the same. He went by a case-by-case -case basis. Okay. So he still doesn't trust us very much. I have the- my file on you is incomplete. I have some questions. Where are you employed? We know that answer. Damn it. I read in the file that you're a former soldier. Yes, I used to be with the Marine Corps. Fun fact, I wanted to be a Marine for a very long time. Just because my whole life, people told me 
The women shouldn't be in the army. Except for my family, but... And then I heard the Marines were the toughest, and I wanted to prove that I could do it. Um... Let's see. Why did you become a soldier? Why aren't you on active duty anymore? I always thought soldiers are like cops, except you don't do anything useful on a typical day. Oh, God. Did you work with explosives during your time in the military? Why, uh, why aren't you active anymore? I asked to be pulled out. I couldn't be away anymore. I had to stay home. What does that mean? Why did you become a soldier? Duty to protect this great country and the things in it. Doesn't your sense of duty extend to the people that might be hurt by this terrorist plot? Of, of course it does. Mmm, hesitation. My favorite story about being, you know, what, I don't know, as a kid, I was called a tomboy. Um, when Sandy hit, my dad and I walked around and cut people out of their houses because there were trees that were down and like in people's doorways and in people's driveways. And we did a lot of logging stuff because we used to chop wood for our wood stove because that's how our house is heated. My dad had a chainsaw and we went to this guy's house, this old guy, and my dad was using the chainsaw to cut the tree and I was carrying all the wood away from the door and like pulling branches off and carrying like logs and just rolling parts of the tree to the side of the curb and there was this old man and was stuck in the house and he was at the window and he said to my dad, thank you so much for everything that you're doing without you, I wouldn't be able to get out of the house and then with me, he told me that I should go home before I got hurt. And then I was like a full ass adult when Sandy hit. And then we got him out of his house and he said that um, this wasn't work that girls should be doing. I was like, I just moved a full ass oak tree out of your door. You want me to put it back? I'll put it back. I'll put it back. My dad was like, uh oh. Uh oh, oh no. Um, did you work with explosives in your time with the military? Yeah, grenades, C4, all stuff, basic training. I feel like I'm not getting a lot out of him. New hint. Excuse me. Okay, I assume you work at the shop in front of where the incident happened. I excused it because he was like a 90 year old man, you know, and trying his best. He didn't mean any harm. Just man. Man, it gets tiring. Um, well, no, I was just passing by there. I was posted two floors down. So why? Why were you there? I keep asking the same question. I feel like I, we should start this one over. I do have to interrogate two other people. We did get that little interesting information. So let's get that piece of information about the fellow in you is incomplete. Um, where are you employed? I assume you work at the shop. Okay. For some reason, Daniel was not at his post when he apprehended Bakil. Try to find out why. 
Maybe he's hanging out with this woman. There was a woman with you at the mall. Who was she? Just someone I know from high school. What can you tell me about her? Not much. You know each other? Yeah, we were classmates. She helped me pass chemistry in my senior year. What was she doing there? Um, just happened to be passing through. Samantha! I have some questions for you. Were you and Mr. Wilson family friends when you were teens? No, his mother was very sick and he didn't socialize that much. Oh, did it interfere with his schooling? Yeah, I tried to help him with schoolwork, but he had to work a job too since his insurance didn't cover cancer treatment. Oh, that's... Oh, another can of, can of worms. Um, where are you employed? Freelance interior decorator. We know that from the file. Are you living in the city? Yes, with my fiance. We knew that from the file. Tell me about the incident in the mall. With Danny and the guy? Okay. Do you notice anything suspicious about Mr. Medina and the other man involved in the incident? Uh, why were, why were you and Mr. Wilson up on that floor? He said he wanted to talk about something. Confess, as he said. We never got to it. Oh ho ho! Hello, Daniel. Also, I feel like they're closer if she's calling him Danny instead of Daniel. He made it sound like they're not close at all. Hi, Dev can't draw. She told me that you wanted to confess something to her. What is she talking about? It really isn't important. I'm not comfortable talking about this. Ah! I only noticed him when Danny had already pinned him down. So he wasn't doing anything. I have some questions about you. Nope, didn't need that. Liberation Front, they're the terrorist group, right? What do you think of them? They're awful, right? What? Were you forced to cooperate with them? What, of course not. Do they do that sort of thing? Such terrible people. This lady seems pretty chill, but you never know. <sighs> All right. Hello, sir. Um, let's fill your file first. Tell me about yourself. Like what? Are you living in the city? In the slums? Yes, where it's cheap. Any family I should know of? None in the country. And back home? Just poor farmers. My uncle works in a department store. Do you send the money? When I can. So rarely. Pork foo! Subscribed and said, hello, gamers. Hello. Thank you for the sub. All right. Where are you employed? Odd jobs, nothing official. Okay. What were you doing at the mall? Shopping, as people do. He had a gun? I got it for defense. I have to live in a dangerous neighborhood. Um, you'll face charges for illegal possession. Let's not add anything to that, shall we? We'll just confiscate the gun and not charge you, but you need to help us. Thank you. He's trusting us. His eyes are wide. See? He's relaxed. He's got the wide peoples. All right. Um... Why do you run away from the security guard? Maybe because I had an illegal gun for protection tucked away on me? Yep. Do you know the woman? I have no idea which woman you're referring to. The guard grabbed me quite suddenly. Okay, have you, heard, have you been in contact with Liberation Front? Of course not, I only heard of them from the news. What do you think of them? 
There it happens when a culture's dream becomes a nightmare. Were you forced to cooperate with them? No, they can never convince me to work with them. How do we get this guy to open up? Have you heard about the Liberation Front? Yeah, I read something about them. What do you think of them? They're a bunch of murderous psychos. Hmm. Were you forced to cooperate with them? No, what sort of question is that? But he looked away. Should we save this to make it... He trusts us some more. Since I said the bad thing. That I... Duh, that makes my skin crawl. We got a thing. Just my mom. She's probably worried when I'm not home. Samantha told me about your mother's condition, saying you were having some insurance problems. It's true. I'm doing the best I can. Everything in my power. Hmm. Very sorry about your mother. It's a shame when innocents suffer. Let's see. I guess it's problematic. Put him in jail. No. I don't want to come at him. Because this guy's just going to clam up. He's a tough boy. Isn't it hard... We don't want to implicate him yet. So let's say, sorry about your mom. Yeah, worst things happen to random people. It just ain't fair. Isn't it hard? Covering those bills from a security guard's salary. It is. They're not paying me much. I've spent most of my life savings, and even that's not enough. Daniel does have a motive. But why is he there? Tell me more about the incident in the mall. Oh, right, the confession. Can we ask about her fiance? No. Does it end if you put it in the red option? No, it, like, it's kind of like the, the real, like, accusation, the real push, the real, like, if, if you've gotten every piece to the right place, if you push the red thing, then it'll really shove it into a direction. Do you see her as a burden? No, of course not, she's my mother. We have to find out why she was down there. Or they were down there. Maybe he'll say something now he's more comfortable. What did you want to confess? Oh, that. It was nothing. I just wanted to ask her to lend me some money. Interesting. Alright, he still says murder psychopath. This woman doesn't trust us that much. 
Do you know why you were brought here, Miss Lo? Um, not really. I don't know anything about any of that stuff. It's related. It's about a related investigation with Miss Higher Stakes. I feel like if we do this, I don't know. Congratulations, what if but long, on your sobriety. That's a, a hella difficult thing. Keep at it. That's a, it's right as hell. Yeah, I think this woman's playing dumb. Oh, she's a little bit more afraid of us, I think, right? That's what that heartbeat means. She's a little more a little more scared. Should we really scare her? I'm gonna do this. A bomb? Oh dear. It says oh dear to a bomb. Trust us. We need her to trust us. Basically, the, the things that we have to work with is this heartbeat. If it pulses faster, they're scared of us. This means that they trust us and that they'll be more open if it's like super wide. Is your dad well? Sure, I'm fine. Is your sister? Yeah, that was creepy. I feel like we should restart. Because we only have a minute and a half left and I feel like I'm making no headway. Well, actually, let's see how much we can get out of her in this minute and a half left. Confess and ask for money are not related to so one of them is lying. Daniel, do you know why you're here? I'm assuming it's about the guy I put down in the mall. I don't want him to be scared of us. I want him to trust us. It's better related investigations, bigger stakes. Um, what related? Someone planted a bomb. We need your help to find it. Ooh, his heartbeat's going real fast. I feel like this man has PTSD or something. I 
Have we played anatomy? Nope. I'll check it out then. Does that ask the big question? You think so? Oh! Whoa! I, I had to. I'm sorry. They forced me. Look, if this is bad for mom, I promise she'll be taken care of. I swear on my badge. Oh, we did it. <laughs> we were, like, right there. I'm so glad we didn't restart. IED is on the fifth floor. Shala's bit store. Third dressing room from the right. Thank you, Tang Lady, for telling me to just go for it. Why is that man being carried? And why is he so tiny? Evacuation started as soon as possible. We successfully disarmed the device in time, saving dozens of lives. Did we? Then the news started coming in from all around the city. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I did a bad job! Two other explosions happened close to the San Tomas Mars. It's two dozens of casualties. Uh-oh! I should have had everyone on the... Oh! Mon dieu! Uh-oh. Continuing our investigation of the group known as Liberation Front, the Truth and Order Special Unit apprehended and questioned several suspects identified through Liberation Front online chat rooms. These suspects were linked to potential terrorist activity or planned targeting civilians by detonating explosive vice at the South Bank Mall. Potential terrorist activity. Daniel Wilson, nail 27, a security guard, has confessed his involvement and has been arrested awaiting prosecution. At this point, we are working under the assumption that he was working alone. He's part of a larger terrorist cell. Ooh, that one's... I don't... Part of a larger terrorist cell is more accurate. Is more accurate. But do we want to give that away? Hi. This is Olive again. Yeah, but this also like goes out to the news. Check up. Coffee for you. Thank you. Please enjoy the hot bean. Thank you for the hot bean. Olive has been in my lap and purring and she was in my lap. Roll and in I, and... I made her get up so I could get the coffee. Yeah, we heard her screaming. She was screaming and she got in my lap and then I got the coffee and now she's in your lap again. We heard her screaming at the bathroom door for you on yeah. stream. It picked up. That's wow. how loud she is. She was really going for it. Yeah. Hello, Hi. chat. Please enjoy your interrogation game. I just did a big uh-oh. I just did a big uh-oh in the game. You did a big uh-oh? Yeah, I messed up. But Olive came over and got in your lap, so you can't have done too bad. That's true. I think things are going just fine. Could you give me my phone? I sat down to start the stream, and I was going to get a bunch of stuff, and then Joy sat in my lap, and I couldn't move. Joy is holding her face. Thank Joy you. is holding her face. This precious. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay. I mean, it definitely is part of a plot, but, like, this is going to go out to newspapers, and then, you know, the, the terrorist group is going to seize this newspaper article. Like, what do we want them to see? Do we want them to see that we're on to them, or do we want them not to see that we're on to them? I guess we should say... Let's be honest, I guess. Let's say that the front is doing this because everyone thinks the front is really dope, as we remember from last time. 
but the front isn't. So we got to start convincing people that the front is bad because they are bad. At the time of the arrest, we were not aware of other potential bombs. We were tracking down... Let's say we were tracking down. We are doing everything possible to neutralize other threats that may be active at this time and ask the public to remain calm, avoid public places, inform us of any suspicious activity. Let's do suspicious activity. Let's not do suspicious activity. I mean, let's say suspicious... Oh, God. Jeez. Sorry, boss. Why are you apologizing? It's not like it's your fault. It's ours. I know, I know. It's just... I feel like we're somehow responsible. Well, we are the department charged with stopping the people who did these very acts. We certainly have some responsibility, if not at all. If not all of it. We got three options here. What's my hat? My hat is the Brooklyn Cyclones. It's a minor league baseball team that is housed uh, on Coney Island. Happy birthday, Brown Town. All of it's still in my lap. You can see from this little ear here. All right, so we got three options. We're trying to stop murders, doesn't make us anyway responsible for the murders. We're responsible for not doing our jobs well enough. Let's just keep, let's just do better from here on out. The blood is on our hands. That'll make the very best to keep off any more. 3 a.m. soda, thank you for the sub. Cyclone is the name of the Coney Island roller coaster, yes. It's a big wooden one that uh, hurts like hell when you're on it, but it's fun. It's a fun roller coaster. Um, let's see. What option does everyone think? I don't know which one I'm leaning towards. I think like two or three. Let's do two. It's the most like middle ground. Everyone's fine with it. Good evening, everyone. We need the room, please. I have someone here from City Hall to talk to you. This normal boy. Greetings, Detective. My name is Tristan Miller. I assist Mayor Patel. I've been discussing things with Chief Anderson for a few hours now, and I wanted to directly address you, too. These deaths, obviously, they don't look good for any of us. What? We're relying on your task force to end what is surely the greatest threat to the city, the Liberation Front. Yeah. Can we count on your team to achieve this to make the city safe again? Hello! This is not Tristan Cooper. Um, you can. The Liberation Front will be shut down. We'll I'll do our best. We just don't know how deep their network runs. Can't offer any sincere guarantees. We may need more resources to have any chance of dealing with them. That might be good. To get more resources? I would love that. Let's do that. Let's ask. He did not like that. Very well. We'll supplement your next budget with some additional funds. Find the bastards doing this as soon as possible. Consider it done. I'll get my team right on it. We'll do our very best. Consider it done. Pick an old memory. Let's see what we got. <laughs> you have more time to interrogate, but cannot access files during or before interrogations. Oh. Profiler. Reading reactions and emotional states is a science to you. You have an exact evaluation in numbers of how fearful and pathetic the subjects are. Mm hmm. You have mastered the use of threats and silence to cow your subjects. A dog that barks is a dog sufficiently boiled. Oh! God! You have been keenly... You have keenly studied extremist ideology and may use the 
knowledge when talking to people with radical convictions. This one sounds pretty useful, incompatible with known pacifist. Yeah, okay. All right, so really we have these four. And really I'm between like these two. Profiler does sound really helpful, but so does Scholar of Ideology for dealing with extremists. What do you guys think? Profiler or Scholar? All of you smell. Scholar. I'm getting a lot of votes for Scholar. All right, scholar it is. All right. We have some more available funds. So what do we have here? Hmm, we're not getting the percentages anymore. Why aren't I getting the Esquilo Tridente? Thank you for the sub. All right, let's see. A comprehensive evaluation of the agents, giving us an exact assessment of their morale, their compatibility with the O. Oh. Okay, bonuses for agents. PR assistance. Okay. I feel like therapy is good considering what just happened. So now we have 55. The worm them. Thank you for the sub. Hit the streets, talk to people, go home early, consult explosive forensics. Oh, that'd be good. I feel like Mordecai would probably be good about that, right? Let's get him working on explosives. And now she is, she's like the, the cop cop. So she's good at like talking to people and doing, you know, some legwork. She's good at, or I'm sorry, they're good at um, computer and tech stuff. Hi. Goodbye. Okay. So what do we think? Olive is not graceful. She's a big, she's a big bumbling kitty. Does anyone have any suggestions here? I feel like I might have her. How 
old are the kitties? They'll be two in a couple of months. In July. Oh, yeah. This is the DA, not D DNA. But... Let's see. Let's have Jennifer work on budget requests. And let's have Tab work on... Oh, working with the DA. But do we want the Liberation Front to know? That we're that onto them? Pursue Informer. Okay. I'll have Tab work on a bunch of requests. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. We gotta move on. Oh, I should run ads. I'm gonna run ads, everyone. We'll be back in three minutes. Um, use that time to drink some water, have some food, take your meds, do a stretch. Check on yourself. We'll be back in three. Hi, everyone. I hope everyone's having a good, I don't know what day it is, Monday? Hope everyone's having a good Monday. <sighs> Let's check on the old phone. Let's check on the old emails. Okay, not cool. Nothing, nothing new there. It is 420. Number means nothing to me. Nothing. I am but a baby. Hydrate with some wine. Just remember to have some water as well. Have lots of water. Eat glasses of water. In most cases. How are me and the Drawfee crew? Oh, just peachy. Just peachy perfect, fine, stress-free living over at Drawfee. You might see more of the Drawfee crew soon. I think they'll be doing their own things, like Jacob and I are doing our own thing right here on the SSS. Just to bring in a little bit of quiche, because we are still unemployed and not making money from the Drawfee channel. Um, how is Nathan Ferry on the special day? I don't know. I know that Nathan, I think, is maybe thinking about streaming. Um, Super Soup, you might not be watching ads because, um, you're subscribed, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if you're subscribed, but if you are, that's why you're not getting ads. Sometimes people just don't get ads. Uh, yeah, Nathan's, I think, thinking about streaming. IAC's Dunzo, I believe. They're Dunzo with their deal. Um, so IAC is, is done and they've, they're out of the picture and that's dope. They, uh, they were very nice to the Drawfee crew and I. Adding texture to cloth. I'm painting a scarf with lots of folds. Texture. You can add like little hints here and there, like where there's going to be shadow. You can add a little like texture there or, or some fold or some thickness to it. Um, but that's my suggestion. Can I share Nathan's Twitch? I don't know if he has one yet. He'll tweet about it if he has one. But. Um. But I don't know what it is. I'm sure that we'll have him on a stream so he can talk about his own stream. But I don't know. Um. He did tweet something. I just don't know what it is. I think 
I think he has a, t a Twitch name called like Nathan's Other Show. Nathan's Other Channel, something like that. Anyway, ads are over. Back to the game. Would I consider doing another art stream? Perhaps. We were holding off on doing art streams because we were hoping to do those as a like Drawfee Twitch stream, but everything's a little up in the air right now, so uh, who knows? So I'm trying to hold off until I have more information. Will you do more Drawfee streams? Well, definitely the Drawfee crew would definitely stream art at some point again. At some point. But uh, again, we're, we're doing a lot of doing a lot of work. Should you make pasta? Yes. Pasta brings me great joy. I love my carbs. Let's get back to the game. Hey, boss. I'm going to meet the others at Hannigan's. Try to get our mind off the craziness for a couple of hours before it all starts again tomorrow. Want to join? Ooh, no can do. Sorry, I want to be fresh in the morning tomorrow to get some paperwork sorted, but you try to have fun. Or sure, lead the way. I feel like hanging out with my team is good for her morale and my team's morale. But I also don't want to slip up in the investigation. What do y'all think? We got to vote for one. How's Karina? Karina's holding up. You know, we're all a little on edge, but all right, we'll hang out. Sure, lead the way. Um, yeah, we're all a little, a little very max stressed out. Karina, no exception. No way, Louis the Sixteenth was the victim. Sorry, I had an uncle named Louis. There was nothing royal about that man. I'm just saying that if he was caught between the pressures and nobility and... Nah, -uh, nah. I'm sticking to my picks. Kiss MLK, marry Lionheart, kill Louis the 15th, 16th. Definitely. Ooh. Well, I'm confident Richie will make you many, many murderous crusader babies. Murderous crusader babies. It has a ring to it. Boss's turn. Right, let's see. Hmm. Kiss, Mary, kill. Lincoln, Gandhi, and, um, Thatcher. Oh my god. Let's kiss Lincoln, because Lincoln's the most up for it, I think. Americans sitting around talking about Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher and Lincoln, same conversation. Yeah, kiss Lincoln. Yep, Mary Gandhi. Never approved of her policies. Next round's on me. We're back from looking into one of the explosions. Office building, triggered after hours. Still... Eight dead and 20 in the hospital. No relevant witnesses off the bat. We've spoken to the explosive forensics. Wow, this uh, night took a turn. And it's like this. The big boom took place on the 13th floor. A large quantity of, of explosive material would have been required. That floor was closed, unpopulated. It was set to be refurbished in the upcoming months. We're going to head out again, canvas for witnesses, and see if we can find any surveillance. Okay. Pew! 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 Oh, my popularity went down. Oh, no! My popularity went down probably because a lot of people died. Oh, no! <laughs> I 
Okay. Well, we have to keep that in mind. To be fair, we did mess up a wee bit. How friendly the journalists are who write about your investigations. Yeah, that's fair. Authorities approval. Yeah. At least they like us, I guess. Freedom Fighters. Exclusive interview with former LF member. Continuing our series on the so-called Liberation Front. We've done our best to track down anyone who might be able to give a first-hand account of what's dealing with blah, blah, blah. You can beat people, but you can't beat the ideas out of their heads. That's why the Liberation Front will never be beaten. Oh, boy. It's just a lot to read. Uh, with the income inequality gap between the average worker and the richest growing, the situation such as the recent uncovered linked tax evasion operation spanning multiple countries is doubtless the Liberation Front will find for fertile grounds future unrest on the most radical left. The radical right is also clearly looking for torchbearers ready to go the extra mile. Fundamentalists of all creeds want to start want a new star for society around the world. Yeah, but this isn't how you do it, dog. Okay. HR report. Jennifer's motivation level is high. Extra aspects discovered in the HR interviews and through background research have been added as classified entries in the agent's file. Given the following, the subject is well motivated and intends to proceed to the best of their ability through the fatigue may reduce efficiency. Given the following, okay, now for tab. Given the following, the, the Integrating the calculated the subject has variable motivation and confidence levels. They may feel fatigued and lacking ownership in the team's endeavors. Fair. Given the following, the yep 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 yep. Jen, what's up? Oh my god. It is most likely here that Jennifer found her passion for psychology, as well as discovering the hardships some people had the misfortune of enduring. This was due to bad luck, bad decisions, and bad food choices. I could certainly help them with the first two. She describes the email to her parents. Upon returning, she dropped out of her engineering. Ba, 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 ba. She found herself in most strong cases of severe trauma that resulted in criminal behavior and changed her major to specialize in forensic psychology. She found employment as an expert witness, testing offenders, Morty! Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Alright. Oh, after joining the FBI place under the authority now sealed and archived, Martha Q was found at her house washing a bloody knife. Her body was discovered in the trunk of her car wrapped in towels during the tri trial. Martha Hughes' lawyer pleaded insanity, although no past behavior or f family history would indicate that except for clear evidence of domestic violence, Jennifer conducted an interview and she confirmed severe psychological instability. Martha Hugh was stabilized, or hospitalized. <laughs> Martha Hugh was hospitalized, avoiding a decade-long printed sentence. However, the 
Future assessments of hospital staff to find no evidence of such mental instability and she would discharge soon after the criminal prosecution case was never reopened. Ooh! Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. So we have some good news and some bad news. Okay? Good news is they had elevator cameras that are set to take pictures after each press of a button. Seems there have been a single press to go to the 13th floor. Bad news is they weren't stored digitally, but printed. Crazy old social security manager. And the pictures corresponding to the button press we're interested in was missing, of course. Foul play most likely. But after several hours of trash digging, pardon if I smell, I was able to track down these scraps. I brought them with me. Ooh, please tell me it's puzzle time. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh my god, I'm so happy it's puzzle time. Wait, you're gonna go like here-ish. Wait. Oh my god, I love puzzle time. You're gonna go, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You're like here? Yeah, you're here. Yeah! Here-ish? Here-ish. Here-ish? I'm gonna move this over so I can actually see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get it. Get it. Oh, legs. I found legs. Wait, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Puzzle time. Puzzle time. Get it. Puzzle time. Get it. Okay, you're gonna go somewhere over there. You're gonna go over here. Get it. Get it. Okay. You're gonna go somewhere over there. You're gonna go here. Hell yeah. Get it. Get it. Okay. What else are we gonna do here? Okay. Okay. You're gonna go here. Cool. Yeah. Get it. This? Yeah. There. There. There we go. We're getting it. Get it. No. You. I said. Get. Get it. Get it. Get it? Get it! This one? Get it. Hey, guess what? Yeah, y'all. Get it! This one? That refuses to move? You know what? Get it. And this one? Are you ready? You ready, everyone? You ready? Three, two, one. Get it! We got it! This is who we were looking for. Find them and bring them to me. A priest? A dude in a snow hat. And a lady with glasses. We've tracked down the people in the picture. We brought them in and have them in the interrogation rooms. We have a sales specialist working in on the building. What? Oh. We have a sales specialist working in the building. A priest that runs the human Humanitas charity. And their assistant predator. Case files are ready. Get it! The Liberation Front's plot was larger than we anticipated involving simultaneous bombing operations across the city. Despite our best efforts, we are unable to track down all of them at the same time. One of the explosions happened in a large downtown office building close to the end of working hours. Although the casualty reports are still being compiled, estimates a hint at dozens of missing and wounded. Our explosive forensics team claimed a shortwave radio signal was used to detonate the bomb, and it was expertly placed on the 13th floor of the building. The floor was being renovated for the past few months and was empty at the time of the explosion. Unfortunately, due to the construction work, the CCTV system on the floor was not operational. 
by sifting through recordings of the elevator cameras, we managed to identify three people who briefly stayed on the 13th floor the day of the explosions. Uh... These people are currently our strongest leads. And they provide further insights. They have voluntarily consented to be questions. Okay. All right. First lady. Maya. Maya Clark. They're all mid to late 20s. This woman's 30. Oh my god. Everyone in this photo is a ghost. Maya Clark is an employee at Hiroshiba Incorporated. An electronics retailer that rented the three floors below the one where the explosion was placed. She has no criminal record, and her performance reports show she is hardworking, committed employee. While we cannot establish motive at this time, Clark had free access to the building and ample opportunity to set up the explosives. At the very least, she might be useful information about her co-workers and the other people in the elevator or at the events during the day, opening up new leads. Alex Nowak. Nowak. Alex Nowak. There's a lot of unrealistic things in this game. Velociraptor surprise. We have not been able to dig up much about Nowak's past. He has had several name changes throughout the years, and his most recent medical records state he is suspected of suffering from a form of schizophrenia. For the past year, Alex Nowak has been receiving care and medication from Humanitas, a charity founded by Gabriel Adams. His mental instability makes him a possible suspect, and his association with Adams might have allowed him access on the 13th floor. I say he's the red herring. That's my guess. Gabriel Adams, 38. A well-known and respected local priest, Gabriel Adams has been preaching in the city for more, for the last years. More recently, he has founded Humanitas, a Christian charity focused on helping people with disabilities who are special needs and reintegrating them to society. Humanitas has had great success and has received donations and funding from several high-profile philanthropists. Incidentally, the 13th floor is where the future headquarters of the expanding charity would have been located. Adams had restricted access to the building, so he cannot be ruled out as a suspect. Okay. Oh, let's go. Hello, Ms. Clark. Thank you for agreeing to answer a few questions. No problem. What's this about? Friendly intro to this woman. Okay. Uh, we just have a few questions about the explosion in the office building you worked in. Uh-oh. She called me. It was quite a tragedy what happened to me and not the questions. Ms. Clark, we have a video of you taking the elevator with the bombs placed. I have questions about the explosion. This feels accusatory. A little bit. I have some questions about the explosion. Mm hmm Where were you when the explosion happened? Well... I was on my way home, heading for the subway. Must have known people affected by the explosion. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Still processing all this. But I'll be fine. Any idea why someone would choose that specific building? No, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, there were many people in there. Maybe that's why. Do you have any witnesses that corroborate? Oh, we don't have a timer. Yay! What? No, I was walking alone. I mean, there could be some subway surveillance footage, but finding that is your job, not mine. Okay. Fair enough, I guess, but don't gotta be rude. Let's talk about something else. 
We have a video of you taking the elevator to the floor where the bomb was placed. Huh. They said the terrorists were targeting our company specifically. Oh, you mean the 13th floor? What? What? Because you were there, we hope you can help us understand what happened. Let's not accuse her of anything yet. Well, I didn't see much. I mean, there wasn't much to see, you know? I'd like to talk about some other people. Is there anyone else on the 13th floor with you? Nobody I knew, just a priest and some guy looking around. Let's talk about the priest. Um, sure, what about him? What impression did he give you? He seemed nice, I mean, dignified and all that. He had a nice voice, too. Very soothing. Did you talk about anything? Not really. I mean, other than he talked some, gave me a little speech about how smoking kills you. Did he also stop on the 13th floor? Yeah, we all did. I mean, we didn't plan on it. It just happened. Now let's see what the priest has to say. Hello, Mr. Adams. Thank you for agreeing to answer a few questions. Please call me Father Gabriel. Or just Gabriel. How can I help you? Um... Let's say just a few questions to help us clarify some elements of this bombing situation. Nothing too hard. What a terrible tragedy that was. I do everything I can. God forgive those souls. Uh, I have some questions about some other people. Is there anyone else on the 13th floor with you? No, the workers were not there that day. Alex was with me. Oh, and there was this woman in there smoking in the lobby. Oh, so this must be like late 90s or something. Because we, one, we have a tape recorder. And two, if you're still allowed to smoke in the lobby, unless, whatever. Let's talk about the woman. I doubt she had anything to do with this. What impression did she give you? She just seemed bored with her job, officer, tired by it, seeing you might have smoke on an empty floor, so juvenile. Why did you try to convince her to stop smoking? Well, smoking destroys her bodies, and I think it's as simple as that. I usually try to aid lost souls. Uh, why did she, what, what did she do on the 13th floor? She sat on a box in the lobby and smoked a cigarette. Her eyes into those satin windows, those, that smartphones are, what? So it is like now? Eh, okay. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about Alex. He's a special boy and he has come so far. What's your impression of him after the time he spent together? Officer, if you can imagine but a fraction of what he's been through, you admire him as much as I do. Uh, what did he do on the 13th floor? I don't think he did anything. He just waited for me in the lobby. I understand you were the leader of the charity, Humanitas. I'm glad you've heard of us. The support we've been receiving has been a blessing. Yeah, we'll see how good it actually is, won't we? I'm glad someone is trying to make the city better, or, of course, it would be better to leave charitable efforts than a priest. Let's say... I want him on my good side. Do we want two or three? Maybe three, because then he thinks that we think that priests are... I don't know. Should we say three? Uh, it's pretty split. I'm getting a lot of twos now. Two does seem... Oh my god, it's so split. Uh, I'm gonna say three. Let's see what his response is. Charity is a virtue which 
when our affections are perfectly ordered, unites us with God through him. We love him. Okay. Who are your main donors? Our donations are anonymous, as I'm sure you understand. I'm sorry. What is your role in this charity? I'm the chairman and the main spokesperson. Spokesman. I do my best to promote charity's values uh, to the whole, to the outside world. Okay, what does your charity do? We try to help those struck by misfortune and put them on the path of self-improvement. How did Alex get into contact with your charity? Well, it's a funny story, actually. We were doing an outreach effort into a poor neighborhood, effectively a large and free buffet. Alex came to us with a boot in a pot, something that he also wanted to help. His warm soul fought his inner demons even then before receiving any support. What type of help do you usually offer? Well, anything they might require. We have a very case-by-case -case approach where we try to truly help each other, each individual, rather than having ineffective programs that may target the masses without actually making anything good. So any good pastor does to suck. Okay. Uh, how did you say, okay. All souls are equal in God's eyes. We help everyone that needs help. And yes, people like Alex do require our help. It's sad that there's so few. Also accept it. Okay. Cool. Let's talk to Alex a little bit. Hello, Mr. No Nowak. Nowak? Nowak. Thank you for agreeing to answer a few questions. You're welcome. I think your input would be very useful in our investigation. Thinking is very important, just in regular amounts. It's true. Don't overthink anything. Overthinking is where you get stuck. Um, I have some questions about some other people. Questioning people, questions about people. You really are a people's person. I have some questions about Father Gabriel. Yes, what about him? What's your opinion on him? If he ain't an angel, God should hire him ASAP. He's a really nice dude. Okay. Did you talk to him in the elevator or on the floor? Yeah, he said he was doing God's work through this new headquarters for Humanitas we wanted to open. Well, it was longer than that, but that's the gist of it. What do you do on the 13th floor? He said he had to inspect the refurbishing process, so he went around, you know, inspecting. Ooh. I have some questions about the woman. You know, I don't think it was legal if she was smoking indoors. That's right. Uh oh. It's a stream. <laughs> it's a stream. All right. What impression does she leave behind? Thank you. Thank you for the kids and tights and the blessings and the salutes. I don't like smokers. Okay. Did you talk to her on the elevator on the floor? No, I'm sure of that. I made sure to look if her mouth was moving. Fair enough. What did she do on the 13th floor? She sat somewhere and polluted the place with her stupid smoke. Oh wait, I should ask if there's anyone else. There could have been hundreds of people there. I didn't see any though. Let's talk about something else. I have some questions about the explosion. My nose is running. I need a tissue, y'all. I'll be right back. I'm sorry.
Yeah. I think I have allergies, or I'm coming down with a cold. Anyway. Sorry about that. I'm back. Uh, okay, I have some questions about the explosion. It's how the universe began. Oh, not that one. Yeah, sure, ask. Where were you when the explosion happened? In the car, I think. We, um, we heard about it on the, on the radio. Let's see. It's a poem created to chase the whatever, whatever, whatever. That's a string of nice words. Sounds like the sort of thing you might ask a hardware shop about, though. Yeah. It's going to open up. I have some more questions for you. Are you employed, N Mr. Novak? I'm on medical leave, officer. I'll get back to work soon. Should we notify your family, or should we notify any family that you are here with us right now? No, no, no need for that. I know my way home. He's opening up to us a bit. What do your friends call you, Alex or Novak? They used to call me Bob. But I don't go by that anymore. So what should I call you? Alex is fine. Or Novak. Or a combination. In any order, really. I'd like to ask some questions about your condition. Then or now? Let's talk then, I guess. Then is important to talk about, even if it hurts. Oh, you're right. It is important to talk about. When did it start manifesting? I first heard the birds when I was 12. A woman came later. I was 18. Who was a woman? Was. She went away for good. Proud of you. How did you live with your condition? I didn't want to confront him about anything. I kept breathing. I focused on that and eating. And that was important too. How did you deal with it? I didn't. Father Gabriel's charity dealt with it. Who are the birds? Were. They are not anymore, for the most part. Okay. You enrolled in the Humanitas program? No, Father Gabriel enrolled me. I didn't see the point, but he insisted. What sort of treatment did you receive at this charity? Coordinated specialty care. Can you elaborate on what that means? It means that someone talks to you, then someone else gives you pills, and then someone else is your friend. Okay. Made everything quieter, and quieter helps you stay focused. It's good. How long were you under treatment? It never stops. I'm in my second year now. Okay. Is religion the main focus of Humanitas? It's led by a priest. What do you think? Are you religious, Alex? I've got enough to worry about in this life without worrying about the next one, you know. Fair enough. All right. So he trusts us pretty okay. I don't want to. Who are you? Who are you? Kiki D. Thank you for the sub. I assume by this point you know about the Liberation Front? No, who's that? A bunch of terrorists that need to be brought to justice. Well, if you say so, until they blow up justice too. <laughs> do you know what they stand for? I think they do most of their work sitting down.
Ooh, which one do we think Alex believes in? Let's go back to Gabriel. Alex doesn't use some sort of saying. Are you comfortable with this? You must understand. Alex is not like other people. He doesn't use language quite like a normal person would. They actually stand for state dissolution. They actually stand for personal freedom. Which one do they actually stand for? Yeah, I don't like the phrasing of any of these things. What do we think? I have a feeling it's between like two or three. Two. Is a uh, let's go two. Well, if it includes the freedom to blow things up, then no, not too noble. What do you think of the ideals? Sounds like excuses to do evil to me. Were you forced to work at the Liberation Front? No, they never approached me. I didn't. I didn't. They they would. I mean, force people into it. What? Any family we should notify? Well, my mother. I mean, she'll be fine. It's fine. Okay. Do you live in the city? Yes, moved in. I came here a few years ago for work. Where do you work? Well, nowhere right now. I mean, I used to work in the office building that blew up, but, like, it blew up. All right. You know what I mean. Did you enjoy your work? No, not really. I mean, I don't think about it like that. Money is money. I'm good at sales. And I get to focus on my passions the rest of the time. What are your, what are your passions? Did any coworker seem suspicious to you in any way? Just a couple of run of the mill sexual harassers. But probably not terrorists. How could sexual harassers be run of the mill? It doesn't usually happen in offices. That's a that's a guy answer. That's a <sighs> I hear you. HR doesn't really do anything about them, does it? Nope, just symbolic stuff. Ugh. Here we go. Without discernible effect, maybe something serious. Just if the infraction's obvious. Half of those nasty is their best buds with the boss of HR anyway. Oh, God. Yeah, can you talk to me more about these sexual harassers? I don't think it's relevant at all to the investigation, but if you think it's important, we can talk about it. Uh, the Liberation Front does have sway over frustrated individuals. That includes sexually frustrated individuals. I don't think that's what these people are. I mean, they are surely frustrated by things and they are expressing it like sex-crazed assholes, but you don't have a frustrating sexual life to be a sexual predator. Many of these people have plenty of sex, they sometimes even brag about it. Okay. Do you, can you recollect any? Happen very often at a certain point. All the jokes, unintentional touches, propositions, and innuendo start blurring into each other. Can you give me some names? 
I don't know. I could lose my job. I could send you an email later with their names, but if you want me to press charges, I'm not comfortable with doing that. All right, fair enough. Do you have any other colleagues that might have been harassed by these individuals? Yes, most women in the office. I mean, most will deny it, particularly out of fear and partially, or partially out of fear and partially because they got used to living in a sexist society. Oh. <sighs> Too close to home. All right. I'm in sales. Sales manager used to be at least. Not sure where the company stands right now. But the sales managers do. We, I mean, I coordinate different sales efforts. I assign sales. T <coughs> Excuse me. Sales territory. Set quotas. Organize the and mentor the sales team. Assign sales training. Write sales plans. I guess it is similar to being a manager in any other field. Okay. Do you spot anyone suspicious from the other floors or staff? No, I mean, there was this janitor that was stealing soap. They fired him. So you didn't really enjoy your work? No, but as I said, we'll need money. Okay. You tolerate your job because it gives you money to pursue your passions. Would you like to talk to me about them for a second? Well, I don't see how they are in any way related to an investigation. I mean, I don't think they're anything special. I like what everyone likes. Hanging out with friends, traveling, a bit of martial arts, a bit of art. Uh, favorite destinations? Officer, how is this in any way related to an investigation? Can we please go back to relevant topics? You said you enjoy going to concerts. Any favorite band? Can't say I have such a thing. Officer, are you sure this is... Uh, I'm sorry about the conversation about your favorite parenting situation. I really hope the investigation, I really hope this helps the investigation in any way. Uh, oh, we are not saying the second one. We're saying the top one. I understand. Then the answer is yes, I'm single. I don't really have the time for a relationship. I mean, I did back when I had a job. I mean, I didn't back when I had a job. Okay, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about something else. We ask everything about... I'm just going to re-ask some questions. Where did you say you were when the explosion happened? Because now she's in a different mindset. I was on my way home, heading for the subway. I'm really just trying to see if any of the answers are different now that she trusts us or is more comfortable with us. Okay. It really wants us to confront Novak on this. I too wish to be free, to be allowed to be what I want to be on the basis of wanting to be that which I am to be. Uh, how do you feel about their aggressive speeds of pushing an agenda? Man, I don't really want to think about that. Screw that. Reinforce to work for the Liberation Front? Don't really have the kind of kilo newtons needed to make me work for them. 
Okay. He really wants me to press. It's clear you've got something to hide. Motions out to Devil's Gateway. Lock them up, chain them up, and you chain your demons, Alex. Doing me pull out answers by force. Not doing that. I will sit here all night and question every fucking person out of yours if I have to. Feel you have answers, Alex. Answers that can save lives can prevent tragedies like that explosion. Okay. I feel bad that we're pushing him. But we gotta push him. Also, I'm sorry that I'm suddenly very stuffy. I don't know what's happening to me. Death is not something we can run from. It is something we crawl towards. I have some I have some questions about some other people. I want to see what he really thinks about the priest. Emily ACV. Thank you for the sup. Think of yourself before thinking about other people. So he doesn't want to answer about other people don't matter. Only some are chosen, blessed, enlightened, like Father Gabriel. Uh oh. I have some questions about you. You! I have some questions about the 13th floor. It is a dark graveyard for those that cannot be saved. We should have tried harder. What? What do you mean they could not be saved? We are born in sin, Alex. We breathe it. We drink it. Oh, fuck it. This world is tainted. How could you have tried harder? Smile. Smile and show them how strong you are. Why do you think they don't deserve to be saved? <coughs> we deserve nothing. So the word of God is boot of mercy. Our wickedness will be cleansed. Is his answer chain here? Change here? No. So question about the explosion? The wall suffice. We have to rip them out in order to be free. Do you know why anyone might have chosen the specific building? Free will and destiny are not mutually exclusive. We do what we must because we are choose because we choose to. What did you choose to do, Alex? The man should give you three gallons. Make sure it's nitromethane on them. Bring them over, but don't shake them too hard. Gabriel! I feel like I want to be closer to this dude before I press him for things. Where are you from, Father Gazer? I want him to be comfortable with us so when we press him, he's gonna be like, well, I have this guy on my good side. I worked as a missionary for a long time. Home is a concept I'm just getting accustomed to. How long have you been preaching here in town? Six years now, how time flies. Any hey, family we should notify that you have us? Okay. See, he's trusting us a little bit more. I already told my wife I'll be home late tonight. It's fine. Thank you for the thought. What's your views on religion, Father? It's the ultimate human virtue. Our ability to worship is what elevates us from cattle. Okay. <coughs> oh, wait, there are more questions on that. What made you turn to religion? I'm sure that you, of all people, understand the wickedness humans are capable of. It hides in us all. It hides in all of us. Only through God's grace can we can the worthy few be saved. <sighs> yeah, I'm assuming that this dude is like Protestant or something. Even though I thought they said he was I don't know, he just says he's Christian. Yeah. Do you try to convert those in your charity? Any soul deserves salvation. It is not by chance that they come to us.
I feel like I want him to be more comfortable with us before we press about him with Novak. I can think of more virtues which are more important than faith itself. Oh, and what would those be? Our ability to think rationally elevates us from animals or really strong emotions. Ability to stay on top of the food chain. Our abilities do not raise us above animals. We are equally alive. No, I don't want that. Okay. Alex tells me you preach about our irredeemable sinful nature, yet your charity does just that. It tries to redeem people. Isn't that contradictory? We deserve nothing, officer, yet God extends us a helping hand because his infinite love for us. I feel like I want to agree just so he's more comfortable. I agree with you the wicked cannot be saved. Spoiled apple ruins the bunch. Do not speak with such bitterness of those that have fallen to temptation. God cries for every soul that turns away from him. He hopes that they one day turn to him. Okay. Alf got this idea that the ones who are not chosen do not matter. Sounds awfully similar to your idea that only deserve to be saved. Did you get it from you? Well... I do not know exactly what Alex believes. All souls matter, but it is true that our corporeal existence are ephemeral. Okay. Uh... I understand from Alex that you have something called coordinated specialty care. Is that treatment you need to him? No, it's actually very common for therapy for those with psychosis. Hello, Miss Joy. Hello, welcome back. You want on my lap? You wanna come here, Miss Grumpy? Here's Joy Cat. All right, Joy, do you want to pick a place to go and not to stand right in my way? Yeah, come here. Here's a little Joy cat. She's sleepy. I squeeze them and I squeeze them and I shake them. Okay. All right. Father, why was Alex buying nitromethane? What? What do you... Did he tell you that? Let's say... He told me many things. We'll get to them. Please answer the question. Um, it was for my hobby. I build airplane models and make my own fuel. Why do you need nitromethane, Gabriel? I feel like I messed it up. Why well, send Alex to pick it up for you? Send Alex to... I don't remember. I might have done that sometimes. I might have been busy. Should I ask Alex about any other errands he's doing for you? Don't stress the poor boy. He does a lot for you and toss. You understand. Better if you don't push him too hard. Okay. What? Why are you staring at me? Why are you staring at my face? Joy loves to just stare at our faces. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you're Jacob, I see. Okay. What is the destiny that you're talking about? Where did you get these ideas from? Father Gabriel told me I had to choose. Choose to be strong, but also that God has placed me in his plan. Thoughts like these keep me going, going, going. Did you know anyone hurt by the explosion? Oh, that's a piece of me behind. It died there. Oh no! We already asked this, right? Yeah. Alright. Ah. Even the devil unknowingly does God's work. What do you think about the ideals they're fighting for? Many strong, dependent voices, each demanding attention, but they all want something new. How do you feel about their aggressive means of pushing their agent? Hello. Hello. That guy's the, the bad guy. Well, he's a very sad man. But is he also a bad man? I don't think so. I think this is the bad man. Oh, that guy's definitely a bad guy. That guy's definitely the bad guy. Yeah, that guy's a bad guy for sure. Yeah, this lady is just here. Oh. That's the bad guy. <laughs> that one's the bad guy right there. Yeah. You gotta watch out. Alright, let's see. I think if you believe in something, something good, you should do everything for it. Should you even hurt people? No, no. But you have to fight to... You have to fight the good fight. The evildoers will get in their way if you try to stop you. Angelrins. Thank you for the sub. Um, do you think what they want is good? Father Gabriel says the flood was good because it came from God. The new flood will be his will as well. Uh, excuse me? Mr. Gabriel, how do you feel about floods? Uh, personal questions. Like, how do you feel about floods? Alex tells me you believe we are about the fa to face a new biblical flood. Look around at how things are going. What do you think? Uh, should we get him to trust us? I believe you're right. We're burning our bridges. Just so, officer. The devil has taken deep roots. But do not lose hope. God will extend a hand, giving us a fresh start. How do you envision this flood? Literal rain? No, of course not. It's metaphorical. A cataclysmic chain of events that will wipe out the entrenched corruption, whatever it is, followed by a process of renewal and spiritual enlightenment. What makes you think God is preparing to burn the place down? The signs are there. It won't be long now. The few chosen ones must prepare the grounds for the rebirth. This is the plot of Fire Force. What would this new world look like? Ah... A new world where the word of God easily reaches everyone. A virtuous world of peace and love. Our children will burn this prom build this promised land. Very opposite of what I was accidentally about to say. Alright, let's press them. Gabriel, if you had anything to do with the Bible, you need to tell me now. Confession absolves the soul, as you know. Officer, please, do not jump to rash conclusions. 
Do you include? Do you accuse of terrorism any individual who purchases flammable materials and has the misfortune of being in your presence? I am a man of God. I have dedicated my life to saving people. How could you think I would be capable of such an act? Drop it. I have you on record claiming the apocalypse is coming, as well as extremist views. I also have you confessing the ordering and purchasing of materials, claiming they are for a hobby you cannot prove you have, and that is only what I got from you and Alex up until now. It is not the apocalypse, it is the new flood. Another chance to get things right, to do it properly this time. Alex has also told me about your troubling views on we are all damned and undeserving. How long until I get even more out of him? You planted the bomb. You want to bring this new flood yourself. Confess, priest. It's over. What a good Christian would do for his soul as well as for his neighbor, for Alex. You might think you could stop it, you unwitting agent of Satan. Nice! Unwitting agents of Satan is a good band name. But it's unavoidable. Our children will walk the kingdom of God after the flood cleanses the souls of the wicked. Interrogation successful. Bam! We did it! The Truth and Order Special Unit has been conducting investigations regarding the tragic terrorist attacks that took place several days ago. We... Now have a solid list of suspects. We're still checking down possible leads. Have a solid list of suspects. Let's say that. In regards to the explosion that targeted the downtown Spring Office's building, our team was able to determine the exact nature of the bomb as well as its precise placement and brought in for questioning three potential suspects and brought in for questioning three uh, potential suspects identified through one scene through on-scene CCTV footage who had access to the floor, who were involved in the bombing, who had incriminating backgrounds, who had access to the floor. The questioning has resulted in the confession and arrest of Gabriel Adams, a 38-year-old priest, cult leader, social activist. Priest. Uh, who admitted his connections to the Liberation Front terrorist group as well as the manufacturing and placement of explosives through an NGO he founded, Humanitas, Gabriel Adams had gained unrestricted access to the building by renting out the 13th floor where he had placed the bomb. He was aided in this by Alex Novak, a troubled young man enrolled in Humanitas care system. Due to his circumstances, he will not be charged but placed in a mental facility after further questioning. Will be questioned further than released. Not be charged with placed in a mental health facility. I mean, cult leader, yeah. That'd be good. Great job, boss. Now we have Adams and poor Novak. We should be getting curly up. Which one of us do you want on Novak? I feel like Jennifer. Jennifer's got good PTSD and... That guy's like more aggressive. I read in his file. Let's do Jennifer. And on Gabriel Adams. <sighs> Morty. All right, what we got here? You have $9,000. That's nice. Oh, see, now we have the percentages again. Uh, let's see. I feel like procedure training is probably good. So let's do that. 
Let's do that again. That was useful. Let's give everyone a little bit of a bonus. Let's have Tab write everything by the book. All right. Oh, PR, you're all right, and I missed it. Callous hours of grilling atoms and I have nothing. Well, I bring good news. It was a long question, but I've managed to gather an extensive list of description and partial names for Novak. Each has a potential hit or a dud. We'll have to start digging into the list. There is a full name here. Helen Kufos. I'll see if I can track her down. Greetings. In light of some recent developments, it occurred to me that there was a personal aspect best disclosed for the record. It has to do with my background. I wanted you to know that during college, I was part of a group that subscribed to an anti-authority political outlook. Evidently, I hold none of those views today. Um, did you do anything illegal as part of this group? Hell, Thompson, it's not even on your file. Why would you go and tell me this? That's worrisome, Tab. Uh, let's do, did you do anything illegal as part of this group? No, technically not. It is in the past. Uh, well, we'll leave it at that. Let's focus on the task at hand. Very well. Can't blame you for, oh, okay. Yay, well, it says we moved forward a little bit, but it doesn't look like it. Well, I think that's it for now. Uh, I guess we'll do a part three of this game because I'm having a fun time. But um, I hope everyone else is enjoying it. If not, then I'll stop playing it. And I'll play it on my own time. But Otherwise, I guess I'll see you guys next time. We'll probably be back not tomorrow, but we'll be back on Wednesday at night at 8 p.m. We'll do a part three for sure. I, I see that people like it. And um, we'll see you Wednesday. Take care of yourselves. Relax. Don't stress out too much. Stay home. Do social distancing. Wash your hands. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye, everybody.